The bureau chief in Tehran for the news agency Reuters is facing a court sentence this week over so-called propaganda-related offenses for a headline posted earlier this year. According to the AP, Parisa Hafesi, who is an Iranian citizen, was convicted Sunday by a special media court in Iran. At issue is a headline for a video Reuters posted in February that initially described a group of women in martial arts training as, quote, assassins. After the story, the Iranian government suspended the Reuters bureau in Tehran, and most of the staff left the country, but Hafesi was not allowed to leave, according to the AP. In October 2011, FSRN sat down with Hafesi in Los Angeles when she was visiting to receive a Courage in Journalism Award from the International Women's Media Foundation. She began by answering why she stayed in Iran following the 2009 protests, even after she and her staff came under increasing pressure. Because this is my job. Um, our job is not to run away or to flee the pressure. Um, our job is to remain there, find a way to report correctly. That's what I believe and I have always believed in. So that's why I chose to stay. And uh, I prefer to be there and to, to experience that, that, uh, that pressure, and, and, but to report correctly. In early 2010, during a time when reform leaders called for anti-government protests to restart, Hafesi was abducted, detained, and faced interrogation. She described what she sees as the role of an independent media in Iran. Our job is to report impartially. Our job is to understand the facts and reflect it and convey that message to, to the world without being afraid of pressures that we get. This is our job, and we are, we are doing that, me and many of my colleagues in Iran who, who chose to stay in Iran. That's Parisa Hafesi, Reuters bureau chief for Tehran, speaking to FSRN October 2011. On Sunday, Hafesi was convicted in a media court in Iran. The Committee to Protect Journalists lists Iran as one of the top censored countries for media in the world. As of December 2011, 42 journalists were held in custody, the highest documented by the organization in the world.